Hi everyone, happy Women's Day. I am Vajiha Tabassum from Jamia Millia Islamia. On this Women's Day, I am here to speak on the topic, Is Feminism a Reality in Rural India? To answer that, let's take a quick review at what feminism exactly means. Feminism is about all genders, especially women, having equal rights and opportunities. It not just allows women to have rightful lives, but also helps the country to advance towards progress, understanding, utilizing, and recognizing the potential of each of its citizens. But the policy of male dominance and the women's role in the society tell us that feminism is theorized differently in India and the mistaken idea of it harms the balance it intends to create. With spread of education, in recent years, women have come up as strong figures parallel to their male equivalents, inspiring other women to not only voice their problems, but to also put in efforts to change their circumstances. Although this may be true for urban women, women in rural India, on the other hand, are still destitute of this recognition and progress. Crimes like female feticide put their lives into danger right before they're even born. Recently, it was accounted that 4.6 million women are missing in India over the last 50 years, which is actually the result of this heinous practice. The hustle begins from the struggle for life itself. Often we are found just blaming patriarchy for this deprivation, ignoring the real reasons behind this regretful reality. With a 73.5% literacy rate in rural areas, and the different crimes like child labor, child marriages, discrimination, drastic living conditions like water crisis, poverty, health and hygiene issues, the list for the reasons why feminism is not implemented or even considered important in these areas gets longer and longer. Absence of local, powerful, successful women also pulls apart the self-confidence of the women here as they are not able to connect with the living examples due to situational and cultural differences. The crime rate and low literacy also bind women into an unavoidable trap of disappointments and the patriarchal pressure demotivates them even more. The potential of women is often ignored and restricted to what the conventional regulations state, even when they are educated and skilled. Other than these social and environmental issues, women are often seen surrendering themselves to their circumstances as if they can never be mended or as if these practices are correct. One of the recent examples is when educated about how domestic violence was a crime, women from a particular caste in Bihar admitted that it was a normal natural right of male members of the family to hit the women counterparts. The entire existence of the concept of feminism becomes vague in front of these considerations from rural areas. Fortunately, brands like Usha help in enhancing the skill set of women through campaigns like Usha Silai School and reaching and impacting 3.95 lack rural women in the last five years. Other organizations like Seva, Azad Foundation, Northeast Network, Snehalaya, etc., which are working towards women empowerment, reaching out to thousands of women, shall soon bring feminism into reality in the coming time, as in the current scenario, it is yet to be one. It is important for our country to encourage women in rural India to come up as confident and powerful individuals, even when their literacy is low. The education about the need of feminism is a necessity for the women who surrender to their circumstances and for the men who often, due to traditional practices, oppress women. Women themselves need to observe their potential and voice their needs, resist the oppression and injustice they face. So, on this Women's Day, let's work together and inspire these women to be a part of the real meaning and essence of feminism, irrespective of their color, state, status and boundaries. Thank you, everybody.